kind of peaceful in a way, I guess. Just watching the smoke clouds travel by. Pardon my jerky camera, but I don't have like the highest end tripod with me. So you can see now and then there's some flames that flare up on that edge that must be pretty close to the fire line. <clears throat> and if I knew my mountains better, <clears throat> I could tell you exactly where that was at, but uh, I might add that in later if I can reconfirm it with somebody else. <laughs> in any case, I'm just uh, sitting here in this uh, nice actually the sun late day sun and this warm sandy earth I'm just on my knees because I'm looking through the camera and the tripod is about head high once I'm down on my knees and uh, yeah it's almost like a meditative moment I guess kind of you know when the Lord brings us to our most desperate place and that's the symbology of just giving up right like giving in throwing in the towel admitting that all of our efforts are in vain Nothing to save ourselves. So, yeah. I realize that we're in need. smoke. So yeah, sometimes all of our human efforts are futile, right? To stop what's By our own force of will. And all we have left is the will to lay hold of the faith. A greater power, a higher power, a creator who cares about his creation and cares about us. Despite everything in this world that will eventually burn. One day this whole world will burn. And all the little crafty devisings and devices of man will be burned up with it. yourself then what what you have left to believe in to live for so yeah it's it's humbling you could say it's a humbling experience Smoke. See the black puff 
on the left there. Yeah, that might be uh, might be a man-made structure. I don't know. It's quite a bit of black smoke right now. Pretty dirty. Yeah, I mean, this could be going through neighborhoods right now. <clears throat> Oops, my bad. So yeah, that could be people's dreams going up in flames, right? All their hopes and dreams and their dream homes and their retirement. Smoke stretches all the way down to the valley below. It's moving at a pretty good clip too. It's just like on Wednesday when we had to evacuate. You can see the other direction of the other fire from here. The one in the park. Some more flames flaring up over here. right on the edge of the fire line right there <laughs> I mean ideally I'd see right now some you see that flame I mean I'd see some bombers flying over dropping at least some water or something but I'm not seeing any of that maybe the winds are too high the train is too treacherous the winds are too high Visibility is too low. I don't know. <sighs> Saw that cars driving by up here. I don't know if they're. It's probably a lot of looky loos like myself. I might be technically on private property right now, but you know what? Sometimes petty. Landmarks. Things should be set aside. I mean, it's very important to document at this moment and lives that are being affected by this fire, including myself and those close to me. Willing to whatever, get a fine, get a ticket, whatever. <sighs> well, there's some high flames. I don't know if you saw that. Um, to the right, the second or third roll of clouds there, I guess. It looked like there was flames up inside of it. Black smoke again. So, yeah, I don't know if those are structures. They could very well be people's homes just incinerated. I mean, it is amazing the destructive power of nature. Check out this plume over here. Awesome the power of nature and its ability to just you know, destroy all of our little human plans for the world. All it takes is a few acts of God, as they say. And uh, yeah, our world could easily come crashing down. Just the economy, the Billions and billions of dollars that just in the last few de decades from natural disasters. Just kind of that, right? Factors, and uh, yeah, I think the economy could very quickly be brought to its knees. And to combine that with this shutdown of the economy right now, the uh, COVID. 
scamdemic. are teetering on the edge of mass societal breakdown. Too close. How you doing? Yeah, I know. Man. I trip on one of these bowl holes are all over the place. No, oh, they are, aren't they? Yeah, they're in our yard too. I'm trying to figure out, you got a better idea of which mountain range is which, because I'm not too good with direction. You know, but it's, and I was it, pretty much burning up everything. It's supposed to be headed down yeah. south and east, but I'm trying this to is, see. Yeah, it's one of those storms. That's what's new. Those right on the edge of the storm. That's yeah. where at. Big. Yeah, it's just non-stop, never ends, huh? Uh, it's been like months this thing's been going on. I know, on. months we and took no off rain. On, we took off on an anniversary trip just a week ago, and it was like 40% containment. They had a nice perimeter, a nice clear sky. They're like, all right, it's sounding it's good. We can good. take off now and not worry about it. If we get back, it's like two days later, we got to back away. <laughs> so, dang it, it's back at it again. Yeah. Well, good luck with your you. family. Yeah. yeah, you guys too. God yeah. bless. Thank you. Stay safe. And yeah. I'll be out of here shortly. I don't know if anybody's oh, nobody concerned cares. that I'm here. Yeah. Okay. Don't break your leg in a ball. Yeah, I know, man. I'm falling into him here. Might sink. Yeah, that was a ton of smoke right there. That's some friendly neighbors up here. But that black area right in the center, I didn't get it with the large lens, but it was putting out some major flames and just pitch black smoke. I don't know what, what that is, but could be some housing units. I don't know. It's a, it's a quite a bit of smoke though. But this is definitely the view right here is the closest I can get from this angle to the perimeter uh, edge of the fire. I think you can see, yeah, right into that, some of that smoke. A flame here, there. That's my move. I'm able to get more of that. Move the camera back a little bit. Get a nice pano. use it all but Might be just crossing that ridge right now. You can see the kind of see the smoke. Yep. Just cresting that ridge line. So yeah, I think we might be the fire could be definitely just devouring that whole mountainside as we speak. It appears just boots on the ground and that appears like yeah, it's, it's a spreading with this wind right now.
fighter firefighters taking off. One uh, forestry service vehicle and two more police back here if you can see. Quite an active presence up here. There's a lot of, a lot of people driving around, trying to get a look at what's going on. Like I said, it's just kind of this Socked in the gut, kind of. Hits you in your core, kind of feeling of uh, just. I don't know. Is that what shock feels like, I guess? On some level, maybe. Having a problem gathering any thoughts right now, so imagine that, not a whole lot to say. Night watch and eight with not a whole lot to say. <laughs> There's so many people coming up here right now. Up on Pole Hill. If you didn't get that, um, this is one of the better areas to overlook the the fire um, over Estes Park Valley. We're not a room here, pretty soon. Now the humanitarian crisis just trying to get out of this place. I should probably move. This guy's gonna back into me here. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. You alright? Right? Okay, you're gonna park right in front of me. Alright. Can move it's all good it's all good i can move i don't want them to run into me i can't see anything behind me though. so i just got a text um, and i guess the fire my father-in-law just got a text that the fire was 900 feet from their house and that was Seven. Pulling off a of Pole Hill. Whoop, whoop. I can't talk. Pulling off a of Pole Hill Road, and I'm getting hungry, so it's getting dark. I'm just kind of hoping to see the sunset over the smoke plume, but it's starting to get cold, and I'm, and I'm starving, and uh, kind of beaten by the wind and yeah just exhausted mentally and physically exhausted I got hardly any sleep last night <sighs> word of advice do not try to cram seven cats in one room and try to get sleep at night especially cats who aren't used to sleeping with their owners because man were they excited getting cuddle time 
So, and then on top of that, the hotel room, I know it's like an older hotel, but the bed is like broken. So every time I lay on one side, the whole thing shifts and it's like hard as a rock. And there's a constant drone of a air filter or something like that. And, you know, we got Bigfoot living, living above us too, so. <laughs> no, it's just about 5.30 in the morning, you know. Um, give all the credit to these guys. They're doing a hard job, firefighters, but we're staying with the firefighters and they're up right crack of dawn. I wouldn't be a very good firefighter. I'd be like showing up late, but 5.30, this guy, it sounded like he's putting on his whole kit because he's like stomping. Like every step he does is like a stomp. And at first we're like, all right, what do we got living above us? A Neanderthal or an ox maybe? A Minotaur? Big hooves? Or Bigfoot? I'm going with Bigfoot because Every time that guy steps, it's like douche, douche. And then literally, I don't know if he was trying to shove on his boots, but it was like boom, boom, <laughs> over and over. His buddy was out pretty quick, so I can't complain. I was just literally barely getting to sleep at five in the morning. And then that started up and then you know, the wife left, she uh, stayed in her parents' room because the cats, they're all about her. They, like when she's gone, it's, it's peaceful and quiet in there. I could sleep like a baby, but when she's around, it's like constant swarm of cats. Um, wow, that's epic, check this out. starting to hit it and my battery's going dead so that is pretty amazing I mean that is a lot of smoke from this fire and it's just not stopping it's just burning through everything and it doesn't seem like anything can stop it so nothing man can do can stop this fire you just gotta live with it. Accept the consequences. Now I gotta change batteries. It's got a massive smoke plume. It's got the late day sun on it now, so it's more dramatic. checkpoint at the top of the road up here highway 34 I mean that, and that is just that is just insane I'm gonna pull over for a second this is just insane <sighs> that is a lot of smoke right over where we live and that is right. Look at how fast this cloud's are moving. That is massive.
just billowing smoke clouds. I mean, that's hypnotic just to watch. Just to watch that smoke travel. Hypnotic. <clears throat> so, yeah, that pretty obvious why they have the uh, highway blocked off. Because that is a massive wall of clouds. the last man, 10 years I don't know more than that now I think <coughs> I'm gonna make a pit stop Yeah. 